Hey, what's going on everybody? This is hole number six of the Acacia Reserve Tournament Master Division qualifying round. For our tee shot, we're going to start off with a quarterback and a power zero ball. Stretching out to max extension, we're going to have our red ring touching the rough on the right hand side. Then we're going to swap over to our extra mile nine and sniper bag and then to our Kingslayer ball. We'll apply max topspin with as much right spin as possible, which is about 2.6, 2.7 bars. Our adjustment is P2 max plus 15% elevation, which is 5.9 rings. And then if you have a Thor 8 or an APOC 7 and above, you can swap to those clubs for better accuracy. One ball of right curl with max overpower, which is a slow needle. We do hit perfect. Ball is going to land in the first fairway, bounce over the bunker into the next fairway, and then we're going to roll out for a drive distance of 368 yards. For our approach shot, we're going to use a sniper. We're going to start off with two backspin, four left spin, and then we're going to set our aim after we've applied that spin, which is going to be ball guide to the hole. <clears throat> So make sure that the ball guide's not going through, it's just going into the cup. Then once we've got our aim set, we're going to re-spin using 2.2 backspin, still maintaining 4 left spin. And then our landing position plus yardage, which is plus 7, will determine our adjustment. So we're going to play this one P2 plus 15% elevation at 25% slider, which is 8.7 rings. Then we're going to use a half a ball of left curl with power just before the point where the power circle drops. Unfortunately, we do hit great left, but the idea here is that we're going to land in the fairway, bounce over the corner of the rough, and then come down this slope toward the hole. With luck, dropping the albatross. Speed, speed is really nicely coming in, but obviously we did hit great uh, right, and so we missed right. A perfect ball may be close, but unfortunately this setup is far from dialed in. Extremely difficult pin location to get to with free-to-play balls, so... If we get lucky and get the drop, that's awesome. Otherwise, we do have at least a safe eagle for hole number six. For further instructions on how to play this hole, make sure you guys click the link below and subscribe to Master Tournament Guides through Golf Clash Tommy. Good luck in your qualifying rounds.